This is new video of a man Mia Marcano's family believes is her maintenance man carrying her stuff away the day after she went missing and two days before he turned up dead. This crucial evidence could directly connect him to her disappearance. Mia's family not giving up hope that she is still out there. Today they gathered outside of her apartment complex along University Boulevard in Orange County to search for clues. Fox 35's Dave Puglisi joins us live. So Dave, this new video we just saw could be a big clue that they've been looking for. It definitely could be. And maybe more clues here inside Arden Villas, which has been the scene of the longest search here throughout the day by law enforcement. And that is still going on right now. The family still hopeful that they'll find her following every potential lead. In his front, the passenger side. New video shows a man who appears to match a description of Armando Caballero getting out of a car. A car that matches the description from police of Armando's. A blank, the blanket. Oh my God, that is my blanket. The man is seen carrying a blanket and a bag heading into a building. The blanket, family say, is Mia's. Think of yourself if you were in our shoes. If you saw that video and you saw Mia's blanket, how would you react? Mia's family says this video was shot the same morning Simone had a chilling encounter with Caballero. He said, are you looking for Mia? I said, who are you? He said, I'm the maintenance guy. I heard you're looking for me. The search for the 19 year old is intensifying as large numbers of investigators arrive at Arden Villas. Residents even received this email about a search of their garages in storage units. One resident tells Fox 35 she had to move her car this morning to accommodate. It's been hectic. It's been scary. Everything that we've been seeing here just shows that we're not truly safe here. Mia's family says they've been receiving numerous tips from the community and law enforcement. They have searched several locations, including wooded and swampy areas, and they're not giving up. Today's that day where we got up upset. There hasn't been much crying at this point. We're just ready to bring her home, but we need everyone's help. And you can be a part of that help. The family has started an Instagram page to keep you updated on the latest updates and investigations and searches done by them. And you can find that on Instagram at Bring Mia Home. And again, any information that you have that could lead to finding Mia is more important than ever before. You should be giving that to police as soon as you possibly can. In Orlando. Dave Puglisi, Fox 35 News. Thanks, Dave. And Mia's family also tells us that they think that she was kidnapped and more people are involved. But investigators say they don't think that is the case. As her family searches that apartment complex for answers, people who live there are concerned. Some going as far as blaming the complex for Mia's disappearance. Fox 35's Holly Bristow reached out to the property manager. So, Holly, did they get back to you? Well, Luann, what we have right now is a statement that Arden Villas released to us yesterday saying that they were improving some of their security procedures. I'm praying that she's coming home. I have a hope that she's still out there. Mia Ross, a neighbor of Mia Marcano, gets emotional talking about the missing 19 year old. She's spooked not knowing what happened. So is Hannah Holmes. It makes me feel unsafe as a resident. This big green poster reads Arden Villas. It's your responsibility to keep your residents and staff safe. We hold you accountable. Now sits in the middle of candles left for Mia Marcano. Copies of this flyer blaming the company that owns the complex is being posted all around the community too. Just yesterday, Arden Villas Department's manager sent out a memo talking about proactive measures to enhance their safety protocols, saying they've repositioned a guard to the front gate to document all residents and guests leaving the property. These women saying they haven't seen that yet. I think that the gate stays open for about five cars to go through, so even sometimes I don't, it doesn't even make sense for me to scan my key fob. Fox 35 News did not see a guard at the gate today, but there was a guard present during our live shots last night. Deputies said the person of interest in Maya's disappearance, maintenance man Armando Caballero, had used a key fob to enter Mia's apartment Friday, 30 minutes before she got home from work. Arden Villas says they've upgraded their maintenance procedures to allow for appointment only booking. It's definitely something that should have been done way beforehand. Hannah Holmes says she's had some unexpected encounters with maintenance. But most of the time I've had them knock like once and then just let themselves in.